What is going on? And welcome back to a surprise BuzzFeed test on a Monday. Now this would have made a lot more sense if I posted this yesterday on Easter, but you'll see at the end why I needed one more day to get this out. But today we are gonna try to make these chocolate eggs filled with brownie and frosting and deliciousness. Now here is my plan and it might get a little crazy. I love how a little crazy in my life is now just making a dessert. It says a lot about me. I am going to go back in the archive and remake the delicious fudgy brownies. I've made these twice for videos now because they're amazing. I'm going to cut them out, make some homemade chocolate eggs, and stuff the eggs with said brownies. Kind of combining the infamous chocolate ball with the fudgy brownies. So one good and one bad. Let's see how they mix together. So like I said today guys, I'm gonna whip up a batch of the fudgy brownies. I will link both my video and Tasty's original recipe in the description. This is the perfect recipe. I have not made a boxed brownie mix since I discovered this recipe. Of course it uses stuff like flour and sugar and eggs and butter, but that extra element of the melted bittersweet chocolate and the chunks of chocolate at the end, all that stuff, it just, it takes it to another level, trust me. But now that that's in the oven cooking away, I'm gonna start up on the chocolate eggs. And for these, I found some silicone egg molds from Walmart. These were like $4 a piece, I think, and they might work perfectly for this. Now, I might seriously regret this, but I'm gonna try to use the colors of orange and pink in the little creases here of the egg so that the design on the outside is not completely brown. And as you can probably imagine, this took a while and a very steady hand. Most of these probably aren't going to come out looking the best, but I froze them really quick. I grabbed them back out of the freezer and just basically brushed in some milk chocolate around the inside. Nice and simple. You've seen people melt and remold chocolate before. Let's move right along. Now once my brownies were finished cooking and they cooled completely, I grabbed them out of the pan and I think this square might perfectly fit six egg molds. I cut it up into six equally sized rectangles and I tried to use a paring knife to cut out some egg shapes. Uh, this was a little tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Eventually though, I think I got them all to a point where I could use them, so I grabbed the chocolate molds out of the freezer and began to carefully pull them out. And some of these actually ended up coming out pretty good. The colors weren't perfect, but they're intact and they should work, so. I stuffed half of my shells with a brownie each. I had to do a little trimming on some of them to make it fit a little bit better, but for the most part, this step was pretty easy. I also then grabbed a piping bag with a star tip and some pink frosting and tried to do some little, I don't know, what do you even call this? Like dots, flowers, I really don't know. And once I popped the other halves on top of my brownies, these were pretty much done. I plated them up and they're not looking too bad. Now, realistically, I could just sit here and eat this brownie and chocolate, which is delicious. It's brownies and chocolate. How could it not be amazing? Um, but yesterday was also April Fool's Day, and if I were to have some other people test these out, I wouldn't want to just be completely nice and give them only this. I would probably think of something else evil and gross and find this leftover week old Brussels sprout bowl in my fridge. Use the leftover chocolate meltables to coat them up and make them look like some delicious cake pops. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with that? So use the knife right there and try to cut it in half, see what happens. It might just crumble, but. Three, two, one, taste. Tasty's recipe? Yes. Mm. Dan, what are you rating this? Out of what? One to ten. Like, <laughs> are you new? Eight. Go around the table, everyone, quick. Eight. Just spout off a number. Eight. 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 Seven. Seven point <laughs> five six. Oh, see, that's... She watches. She watches. <laughs> that's how you know. These are chocolate cake and chocolate fr frosting with chocolate outside. Save me one. Three, two... One, go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, got it in the <laughs> Wait, are they the same? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you 
still trying to eat it? <laughs> oh, you guys were smart. Respect. We heard you after I said, oh, I love cake pops. You're like, oh. I knew there was something behind it. Why are you still eating them? <laughs> yeah, they're like three days old. We had it for dinner, like last week. <laughs> <laughs> they were from last week's steak dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed today's BuzzFeed test. If you did, leave me a big like. One like equals one apology to my poor cousins who just ate that. Follow me over on Twitter and on Instagram. Let me know what you want to see me do this week for this Friday's video. Happy Easter to everybody out there who celebrated yesterday. And have an awesome beginning of your week. I will see you right